Wait a minute. Hey, Hermit, we screwed up. Wait, how do we screw up? Uh, yeah, we went way too far. Wait a minute, I don't know where we're going, so I didn't screw up. We, we screwed, screwed up. up. I did screw up. We screwed up. I screwed up. Whee! I kind of feel like I'm snow skiing. Carving down the mountain. So that's what I get for trying to start a video and not pay attention to what I'm doing. Caution, hella spot. Oh dude, that's dope. Wait a minute. <laughs> Does it say that because it's hella awesome? Or? <laughs> this, is a, this is a hella spot. This is a hella spot. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening guys? Today I'm up on Spruce Road riding with Hermit the Vlog. What's up brother? What's up? And uh, just so you know, caution, this is hella spot. This is a hella spot. This is a hella spot. It was a cool spot and then something really awesome happened now it's a hella spot. Right. So this is uh, National Forest Route 346 as the sign says. And some of you might recognize this as one of the trails we did on the uh, snow busting dual sport ride but this trail is so cool I wanted to take you guys back up it when it wasn't covered in snow and we could go a little faster than 17 miles an hour so I also wanted to bring another little thing to my subscribers attention which uh, Mr. Hermit the vlog was just telling me he didn't even know but you can do something if you enjoy my videos you can become a super subscriber and what a super subscriber is is somebody who goes and clicks on the gear icon next to the subscribe button it's up there nicely done and checks notify me when this channel uploads new content what that'll do is that'll send you an email every time I upload a video and that is what we call a super subscriber Hopefully Hermit of Vlog is going to go home and become a super subscriber right after this ride. So you could be cool like him. So once again it is Friday after work. And uh, I met Hermit over on the other side of Rampart Range. And I'm taking him on a nice little loop that I like to do sometimes. And uh, we've gone down Dacne, which you guys saw in a previous video, down Rampart Range Road, and on to Rainbow Falls Road, and now all the way down through Rainbow Falls, we ran up some trail in Rainbow Falls, but it was raining, and all that, uh, all that ground up there is clay, and it was just a little too slippery to continue on the trail. But it seems like it's starting to dry up now a little bit. Because this, uh, straight, 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 straight. Well, I was going straight into something. Oh, wait, no, this is that way, yeah. That way, wait, no, it's this way. It's this way. That way? Yeah, it's that way. Aye. Right. <laughs> All right, Captain, it's this right. way. That's the driveway. So, already a bit more fun than when it had three inches of snow on it. So, how you been, Hermit? I have been busier than a cat covered in crap on a cement floor. How about you? Woo! That's a new one. I haven't, I haven't heard that one before. Uh, I've been really good. I uh, had a great week, uh, great work week. Uh, got to work from home one day. That was kind of nice. That is nice. Yeah. Got uh, Miss Stacy's new GoPro this week. So she's gonna be back in Happy Audio Land next time she comes out and rides. Ah, so we can so we can hear her telling you you're doing everything wrong again? That is uh, a wife's duty, isn't it? Yep. Does she are, are you married? I forget. Yep, there's a Mrs. Hermit. There's a Mrs. Hermit? Yep. Does Mrs. Hermit do the same to you? Uh yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 
so. Well, low bridge. I don't know, like you, you, like when we went to ride at Steelwater, yeah. I was like, Stace got out and started unloading your motorcycle and the ATV and everything while you were kind of hanging out with the dudes, uh, talking. Like you had her trained really well. I was wondering if you like took her to a wife whisperer or something. <laughs> well, she'll unload her own quad. She'll leave Zena sitting on the trailer. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm still skiing. I feel like I'm skiing when I go back and forth like that. It's fun. Remind so, me sometime I'll tell you the story about when I took Mrs. Hermit to the Laugh Whisperer. Oh, tell me the story now. Are you sure you want to hear it now? Oh, that sounds great. Well, so she came to me and she's like, hey, I, uh, I think we need to go to marriage counseling. Uh-huh. Now, notice she said she wanted to go to marriage counseling. She didn't say, like, there was a problem that needed to be solved. She just said she wanted to go to marriage counseling. Oh, okay, so it wasn't a specific issue. No, I think, like, some of her friends were going to marriage counselors and she was feeling left out. Oh, okay. You know, so just, like, what the girls were doing at the time. Yeah, oh, man, that happens all the time. Yeah, I know. So, I was like, all right, I'll, I'll play along, but here's the deal. I'm going to pick the marriage counselor. Okay. And uh, so I went looking for a marriage counselor, and my criteria is one, I wanted a dude, and uh, that, that should be obvious why. Uh, and, uh, and I wanted somebody who was divorced. Okay. Because <laughs> I figure if you're going to bet on a fighter, like, you don't want the guy who, like, won one fight in one round with a lucky punch. You want, you want the guy who went, like, 12 rounds and lost by decision. Right. Yeah. So I found me a divorced guy, and we went in and talked to him, and, you know, he... <coughs> She just kind of laid into me. She's like, hey man, he always wants to go ride motorcycles with his friends and doesn't spend time with me and doesn't want to go to the city and go to the shows and go dancing and all this crap. Uh -huh. You know, and he basically told her, he's like, well, you know, people kind of need to be responsible for their own happiness. You shouldn't wait for somebody else to make you happy. Right. That's a pretty good advice. That's totally true. Yeah, yeah. And then she, uh, he also was like, you know, was, was he into like dancing and going to the city and stuff like that whenever you married him? She's like, no. He's like, okay. <laughs> so basically, he's the guy that you married. Well, yeah. All right. And then he looked at me. He's like, well, why are you unhappy? He's like, I ain't unhappy. I just came here to make her happy. <laughs> right. You know, so like, by the time we left, she was apologizing to me and like, everything was all good. She was happy and things were great ever since then. So I was like, man, holy crap. He was a laugh whisperer. <laughs> you know, but so here's, here's my marriage advice. Okay. Uh, for, well, I'll do marriage advice for men, marriage advice for women, all right? All right. Okay. So for men, this is the thing. Whenever it's like she's had a hard day and she comes home and she's complaining, uh -huh. she doesn't want you to solve her problems. Like like when us dudes complain to each other, uh -huh. we want, we're wanting a solution. We want the other dude to say, yeah, well, you should do this. And, right. then, and you go, oh, okay, yeah, that'll solve it, right? Uh -huh. That's not what women want. Women just want you to listen. Yeah, they just want you to hear. Yeah. About the problem. Yeah, so so here's here's the two magic words that will save your marriage. You just, just learn these words, just memorize these words. Whenever okay. you're in that situation, uh -huh. all you say is, that bitch. That's all she wants to hear. Oh, I'm talking about the, okay, talking about the girl that she's obviously talking about. Yeah. All right. Yeah, don't, so, I don't want people to think that you're saying that about uh, Mrs. Hermit. No, no, no. Not about Mrs. Hermit. <laughs> no, because this is what I'm saying. Is, when you're a woman's complaining, all you say is that bitch. Uh -huh. You're tempted to tell her what she's doing wrong. Don't do that. Just Don't. say that bitch. That's really good advice. Yeah. So there's that. Now here's the here's the advice for the for the women folk. Okay. Uh -huh. this, is, this is what we learned from our life whisper. Okay. Marry the dude you want to be married to. Okay. That's it. Like I know I know it seems obvious, but for some reason they get this wrong. If, if you want a guy who wants to go dancing, uh -huh. marry a guy who likes dancing. Right. You know if you want a guy who like uh, likes to go camping. Uh -huh. Marry a guy who likes going camping. If, if you want to, be, you know, if you don't want to be married to a guy who's an alcoholic, don't marry an alcoholic. Well, you know, that's that's funny because that kind of stuff seems to be more obvious to men. Yeah. You know. Well, that's why this is the advice section for the women. But yeah, I have seen many instances where that is not true for women. They they marry they marry what they think they can uh, change somebody into. Right. And then they get disappointed when it doesn't work out right. Right. So. I'm guessing in your case, like, she figured, well, you know, I can only go up from here. <laughs> yeah, to tell you the truth, Miss Stacy should not have married a city boy. I don't know, I actually <laughs> don't know why she did. But, 
it. It's worked out pretty well. Yeah. She's got you trained all right. And and you got her trained all right because she unloads your trailer for you when you get to the trailhead. <laughs> that is true. So this is a pretty fun little trail, huh? Yeah, I like it. I'm digging this a lot. Yeah. It was a lot slower when it was covered in, uh, you know, five inches of snow. Yeah. Ow. Ooh, that was... The boys just took a direct hit on that one. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. So yeah, thank you very much for meeting me up here. I wanted to ask you, uh, we know I know you're from uh, up near the Evergreen area, at least I think. I know Ned lives near Evergreen. Do you actually live near Evergreen? I'm more closer to Central City. Oh, okay, you're closer to Central City. Yeah, Ned's over near Evergreen and I'm near Central City. A lot okay. of times uh, when I shoot the videos is because I just pick the bikes up from Ned's house and I'm over in his neighborhood. So, how long exactly did it take you to get over to the spot where I met you, not the actual Rampart Range parking lot? The spot where I met you from, it, from uh, you mean from the house? Yeah. Oh, it was about an hour and ten minute drive. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, it's a little ways. Yeah, well, I should say it's an hour and ten minute drive to the spot where you said I should park that was surrounded by all those no parking signs. Yeah, that was, sorry about that. Yeah, and then, and then I drove another 10 or 15 minutes which was a really cool drive up, uh -huh. uh, basically off-roading and okay. uh that's that's where i parked the truck so but but like now in 10 minutes to the spot where we were going to be okay oh and remember hermit doesn't like puddles i don't like <laughs> yeah i know it's, uh, you probably got to punch a few uh points off my man card for that one Whee! oh now you have no choice <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I can, I can get around it right there. See? Oh, see? <laughs> Man, I am just hitting every single tree with this camera today. You know, the only reason I'm hitting them is because you said just not what, 20 minutes ago. Do you like that camera angle? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I used to do a lot of mountain biking. Maybe, maybe that's why I always avoid the puddle puddles. Is because <coughs> mountain biking, you know, like you hit the puddles and your feet just get all wet. Right. Oh. I need to probably jump over on the right side of this trail. Yeah, things. going around those blind corners on yeah. the wrong side is uh... uh. But there's a puddle. I can't. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely losing points. <laughs> Dude, you know, I got a worse one. I was riding with a friend who rides uh, street motorcycles a lot. Okay. He rides the dual sports around Hermaville, and uh, we were on pavement. Uh -huh. And he's like, dude, you, you keep avoiding the manholes. Like, why do you keep driving around the manhole coverage? You're on a freaking dual sport. You, you go and you do <laughs> that crazy stuff off road, and then you go on the pavement, and you don't think you can handle the manhole covers. Right. Like that's what they're made for. <laughs> right. That's what the dual sports made for, with its you know 11 inches of suspension travel. Yep. <laughs> And what was your reply? Uh, I think kind of the same thing with the puddles. It's like, yeah, I'm just a giant wuss. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just wheelied over that one and put the back tire right in it. <laughs> so what I was telling Hermit at the end of our uh, Stillwater Pass ride that you can go watch on his channel as we were packing up and getting ready to head home, we were sitting there trying to do uh, 180s in the parking lot. And I was like, man, you know what I really need? Is somebody to just sit in the parking lot with and practice wheelies and practice 180s. Because Miss Stacy doesn't need to do that stuff yet. Yeah. That, so hopefully uh, Mr. Herman and I at some point will get bored enough of riding trails. I don't know if that'll ever happen. No, that won't ever happen. <laughs> I do like the idea. I just have to. One modification is you'd be way better off if you were in a parking lot with somebody who actually knew how to do a 180s and ride wheelies. Uh, well, yeah, but then they'd just be doing them and I'd be watching. No, no, they can teach you. Yeah, like that guy. What'd you call him? Son of a Rides? Son of a Rides. Yeah, Son of a Rides knows how to wheelie. Get him to come up here. Son of a Rides, you should come to Colorado. Teach us how to wheelie. Teach us how to wheelie and do 180s. Yep. <laughs> Never borrow another man's motorcycle gloves. 
because he's going to take a leak, put his gloves on without washing his hands. Just saying. <laughs>